marks one month since the death of Lisa Edwards, who died while she was in police custody. Yesterday, community members held a silent vigil in Knoxville. WATE 6 on your side reporter Ella Wales was there as the crowds gathered. It's been weeks since Lisa Edwards died of a stroke while in police custody. That vigil today held at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. That's where she spent some of her final hours alive. Breathe. The chance from last week turning to this. The street where Lisa Edwards was arrested now etched with chalk her name. Lisa's brother Brad Cox says the support from the community has pushed them to keep fighting for justice. It means a whole lot to the family. It, it's amazing how much support has came out in the, the media cover that we have seen and, and visualized. It means a lot that she's not forgotten. The silent vigil comes almost a week after another protest was held in front of the city county building. Cox says the more people that hear about Lisa, the better. We had a good turnout last week. There was over 100 people there, and I hope more people have got wind of it. Cox says their goal is to make sure something like his sister's death doesn't happen again. She should have never been treated the way she was. And what we're after is no one else ever, ever be treated like this. This could be anybody's mother, wife, sister, daughter, whatever. Anybody could fall under these circumstances. Remembering a sister gone too soon, but making sure her memory lives on, this time with her favorite song. People I spoke with making sure to keep Edwards' memory alive. They're encouraging everyone to attend the city council meeting to make sure Edwards' death doesn't become just another statistic. All right, thank you, Ella. Now, Covenant Health CEO Jim Vandersteek telling reporters Friday that he was more than disappointed with how Edwards was treated verbally. He says an investigation is being done within the company. And by the way, if you would like to see the timeline of events that we've put together showing what led up to Edwards' death, just head to WATE.com.